It's back. That's right. Illinois Senate Bill 1966, the gun control package from 2019, is going back to the Senate for concurrence on the House amendments. Senate Bill 1966, sponsored by Illinois State Senator Julie Morrison, a Democrat, will criminalize private transfers with violations being punished as a Class 4 felony. It will require the recipient of a firearm gifted by a family member to call the state police within 60 days to run a background check on themselves, even though they must already have a FOID card. It also allows for the indefinite delay of firearm transfers and mandates FOID applicants submit fingerprints, including renewals. Senate Bill 1966 increases FOID processing time from one calendar month to 30 business days, which will cause added delays as the state police already have a backlog of 60,000 FOID card applications. It reduces the duration of the FOID from 10 years to 5 while increasing the fee from $10 to $20. It also requires FOID applicants pay all costs for fingerprinting and processing the background check, which could total $150 on top of the application fee. It prohibits those with a revoked FOID from transferring their firearms to another FOID card holder in the same household and also takes away the right to self-defense from individuals due to the alleged actions of someone else in their household. And finally, it requires the owner of the seized firearms to petition the court to have them transferred to a third party. Last year, witness slips filed by those favoring the law were 3,750, and opponents who filed were only 3,498. The bill has been assigned to the Senate Judiciary Committee, and no date for a meeting has been scheduled as of yet. The entire state government is under Democrat control, and there is very little standing in the way of this bill being passed. The only thing that can stop it from becoming law is the gun owners in Illinois. It is vital that you contact your senators to oppose Senate Bill 1966. Meanwhile, around the globe, New Zealand imposed a December 20, 2019 deadline to surrender firearms under the nation's newly enacted Firearms Amendment Act. In January 2020, law enforcement served a warrant and searched a house for a lever-action 22 long rifle. The owner's wife and two young children were at home when police arrived, and they were detained and questioned separately. According to reports, half a dozen armed police officers swarmed in the front door as several more ran around the sides of the house. The warrant claimed they had reason to believe the owner was in possession of a prohibited magazine fitted to a 22 lever action rifle. Apparently, the owner had posted a picture online and had used the firearm as an example to prove the legislation was not targeting military-style assault weapons as the media, prime minister, and her cabinet had said. A government committee has finished work on updates to the law. Revisions include a ban on pump-action rifles, shotguns, and ammunition restrictions. Opponents to the new legislation have filed action in court challenging the law. The only challenge you'll have at Smoke and Gunworks is deciding on which firearm to add to your collection. But get them while they're hot and while you can. Smoke and Gunworks, proud sponsor of The Gun Doctor. For The Gun Doctor, I'm Tim Bivens.